Welcome to another edition of the magazine. Today we're here with artist and painter Donna Gagnon. Welcome, Donna. Hi, nice to be here. So thank you for coming on the show today. So I hear, I'm here with my co-host, Donna, uh, Alana <laughs> Murphy, and uh, she's going to be asking you a question in just a minute here. Wow. Um, but So when did you learn that you had a gift to draw? It's hard to say because I always was drawing something because I'm an only child, so I was amusing myself. And I was drawing all the time cartoon characters or little animals. I'd, I'd make them have their little houses and all this. So my parents noticed that I really liked it. And so they um, they sent me to Swain School in the summer okay. as I got a little older, and that, the summer camp, and that was great. That was good. what great fun. That was really nice. What did you do when you were my age? Ah, well, I had been dancing school. I had a little bit of that. And then I drew, and I played little instruments like the recorder in school. Then I played the cello and piano. And I just liked anything to do with the arts, dancing, singing. And I always drew. I'd make little little uh, paper dolls for myself and <laughs> dress them up. And I really loved it. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so you're a Fairhaven High alumni. I am. So tell us about your experience with Fairhaven High. I just loved going there. It's such a beautiful building with the marble floors, the uh, stained glass windows. And, you know, I, I, I always appreciated good art. So mm -hmm. I just adored the buildings and the wood carvings. And they had a nice art program in there, Fairhaven High, too. So I, I liked doing that. But I was also in the high school band, so playing my saxophone. So that that was I had fun and all that, and then I was in a senior play, and so it's like everything for the arts I was drawn to Excellent. my whole life. Well, Fairhaven High is like a piece of art in itself. Mm. I think it got voted the most beautiful high school in uh, Massachusetts. Well, it's definitely got my vote for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so after Fairhaven High, you went to what was called SMU, mm -hmm. uh, which is now UMass Dartmouth. And you majored in, what was your major? Visual design. Okay. And I minored in music. But Why visual design? Well, I always liked uh, more technical work. Um, I love modern art, but I'm not good at it. And I, you know, I love it, but I can't do it. But I was always good at realistic okay. de depictions of things. So I, it was more like towards advertising and marketing and stuff like that. But, you know, you do get a little bit of everything when you're at school, life drawing. And I, I found that I love drawing people, too. Okay. So I, I, that drifted into portraits later on. Oh, wow. Okay. And then uh, architectural drawings and any, anything like that. So that was uh, after college, some of the careers that you had was mm -hmm. in the, those fields? It was. I, I worked in a few advertising agencies, and uh, I did freelance illustrations. And then I worked at a printer for a while. And it was funny. I had learned everything about printing, mm -hmm. and I found out that I really didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I had done it anyway. Uh, that was way back when print when uh, computers were just new. And I would draw an illustration, and the woman would take it and put it on the screen and make the type go around the drawing. Okay. <laughs> they had no way of just making it drift and float. <laughs> so it was a it was an experience, but I, I really liked it. Uh, the best one I had was at a place called GHR Engineering, and uh, they they did civil engineering, and I would sometimes go out with the men and. We would do all the uh, the pictures, and then they'd bring back all their data, and then I'd do the topographical maps, mm -hmm. and then then we would design the buildings that were going to go there. So I, that was really interesting. I liked that. So I was sad when it went out of business, and businesses do that around New Bedford area. Unfortunately, unfortunately. But then, you know, we move on. We and, do. And I hear that one of your favorite jobs is working for the New Bedford public school system. Oh, that was such fun. Yes. Uh, Ray Bazalian was the head of the art department. And they had some 
uh, funds from the federal government to develop a puppet show to teach the uh, children of New Bedford a uh, the history of the town, the city. And we wrote the show, we recorded the show, we made the puppets, we built the stage and the puppets, mm -hmm. and we had string puppets, stick puppets. Uh, we tried to do a little of all the different kinds of puppetry. Mm -hmm. So we did, th things were in the show, like uh, the, the boat Dartmouth was at the Boston Tea Party. Okay. So that was in there. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, through the history of the, the city, and it was very, very popular. We went to every grammar school in the okay. city, and uh, they liked it. So we did it for tourists in the summer. Okay. For two summers, I think it was. And that was under uh, Ron Fortier. He was the, the manager of the whole project oh, wow. under Ray Bazalian. Okay. But it was, it was great fun, a lot, of, a lot of crazy people, which make it more fun. So, of course, so during the work life, you know, you're very busy, but then you retired and you became busier. I did. I did. Um, I, I worked in other jobs to make money, of course, along the way. Yeah. But um, I retired because my parents were getting older and we needed to move back to the New Bedford area because okay. I lived in the Boston area for a while. And uh, we were very happy to come back. And... Um, then I started deciding I wanted to get back into watch. So I looked up what was going on and I found Deborah Macy, who's okay. a portraitist and one of the best. And I said, she's doing a class at vocational school. I can brush off the cob cobwebs and get back into it. So I was delighted to go in and see Debbie. She's a lovely person. And uh, I started painting my grandchildren okay. to get back into it. And Debbie is a master portraitist. And she yes. comes over and she says, well, I hate you already. And I said, oh, thank you. And we <laughs> hug and we've been friends ever since. Oh, that's great. And she really was such a good help to get me back into it. And she encouraged me to start exhibiting. Nice. And um, I, did, I did. I won a first prize at the Beer Start Society okay. right off the bat. And I went, ah. Oh. All right, this is fun. I think I'll keep doing this. <laughs> and you have uh, exhibits in Gallery X? I have exhibited in Gallery X, um, the Heart Spot Gallery in East Providence, um, Marion Art Center, the South Coast Artists. I had a big show in April to 2023 um, at the Wamsutta Club. And it was my first solo show. Oh, wow. And I sold 14 paintings. So I was like, <laughs> wow, this is great. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And I, I was on one of the, um, you know, New Bedford Light newspaper. You know, it's online. Yes, yes. They have an art show, an art club there. And I was on one of their episodes with a, with a few paintings. I did that. Mm -hmm. And uh, like right now, I have a few things at the Art Loft okay. in Fairhaven, which is on Water Street, and they sell art supplies. And mm -hmm. Tina Collier owns that, and she's just you know, it's very, very easy to work with. Mm -hmm. So I had a little exhibit there for the holidays. Oh, great. Yeah. Nice. So, so are you still doing uh, art? I am mm -hmm. all the time. I, 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 had, I did quite a few little, I did some small ones like this. Okay. Um, and, uh, and I did some Christmas themed ones, which I sold them all. And I do a lot of commission work too. Uh, people love their pets to be done. Yes. Yeah. So I have, I have two that I can't show anybody yet because they're for Christmas presents. Oh, yes. Yep, <laughs> but I will yep. be putting them up on okay. my Facebook page, Donna Gagnon Art, as soon as they're done. <laughs> Well, that was my next question. Yeah, how, like, there are a lot of people that do like their, their pets done, mm. uh, myself included. <laughs> ah. So, um, but how would, so people would get in touch with you through the Facebook page? Oh, word of mouth a lot of times, but sometimes they see it. I, I have an old website that needs updating, so I won't push that right okay. now. But I, um, I am on Facebook, and I'm in the different groups, and, okay. and people see the pictures I put up because the, the Donna Gagnon art on Facebook is public. Yeah. 
And they, because one of the ones I just did was for California. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, usually I like to meet the animals because yes. you like to meet people because then you yep. can get the personality because mm -hmm. every pet's got their own unique little special thing about them. And I love all animals. So I love meeting them and uh, catching that. And I, I'll take pictures at the same time because okay. uh, a lot of times the fur has all these little subtle changes and you mm -hmm. want to you know, be able to catch that. Sure. But you want to get that glint in the eye mm -hmm. that makes them special. And I, I just love doing the animals. And what about uh, like portraits, people? I've done a lot of those too, thank you. Um, I did a couple in, the last one I did was a couple in Paydenarum. They lived in Paydenarum and they always take walks over the bridge. And so he wanted the bridge in the background. So he went across the harbor and so you could see um, paid Naram in the background and, and they were standing on the beach and I got the two of them and she had a nice uh, necklace it was the first gift he had given her that said forget me not oh wow so I made sure I did that and I think that took longer than their faces because <laughs> it was so small and I had to get those out forget me not. <laughs> but I got it done and they were delighted so that was really nice um, there's nothing like uh, a painting of your family or a loved one or absolutely and i i wish people would take more pictures of their loved ones because sometimes i'll get a an old fuzzy photo of their dead grandfather and this big and could you do it? <laughs> <laughs> and i i get it done but it's it's hard and you have to talk with them a lot and um if i can't meet the person or animal i ask them what are they like what did they do what did you know um one of them I had to do was a woman had gotten married mm -hmm. and her grandparents had died, but she wanted a picture of herself in her wedding dress with her grandparents. Oh, wow. So I had a lot of pictures and I, I made it happen and she was delighted. So there's, there's her grandma and grandfather and there she is in the middle. Oh, that's, that's a great thing to do. I, I know our viewers that are watching are going to really you may be inundated with some things. <laughs> no, that's, I am open for commissions. Okay, <laughs> Definitely right. open for commissions. Another one I did was uh, a couple had just gotten engaged and they were like laughing and hugging. And um, her father commissioned me to do that. And he gave them that for their wedding. Uh, so they were, they were like thrilled. That was a great wedding gift. Oh, nice. Very nice. So I'm sure you're going to get some more customers here for the... Uh, for your beautiful art. Um, oh, that'd be wonderful. But you also have other talents. You're also a musician. Oh, I played saxophone for many years. Um, not, well, not many years, but I played for a while. And that's how I met a lot of the musicians in town because I hung out at Chick's House of Drums. Yes. And so many people would drift through there. I would, when I went, whenever I went to buy saxophone reads, I'd spend on plan on spending hours there just meeting everybody that came through the door so I know a lot of Fairhaven musicians but we did like popular music we were the Saturday night band at uh, the 6th Bristol for a long time okay and, you know we played at the Poria Post all of us and Swansea we played there. <laughs> we played there too <laughs> So that was that was fun, and uh, I sang in local uh, choruses, the New Bedford chorus, and uh, different choirs. As long as they paid, I was bringing <laughs> bringing up my son. I needed the money. Sure, sure. <laughs> that was an additional thing you did. I did. I sang, and I was in. Uh, I was the one of the original members of Tesseract, and then when we moved away, I couldn't do it anymore, and they got another alto. But that was fun. I was in a bigger group called Caliban, and um, yeah, that was fun. The New Bedford Choral Society when I was younger. So I've always liked music Any and current art. Any music projects? No, no, I'm just an appreciator now. Okay, yeah. In the music industry, they don't like old ladies. <laughs> so I got out while I was ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, you certainly have multiple talents, that's for sure. Oh, thank you. So what's the future? Just keep on painting, I guess. Uh, my granddaughters are getting older now. I've been enjoying watching them getting into their career. One of my granddaughters is in marketing, so okay. that's familiar with me. The other's into finance. So it's the, the, I'm just very proud of them. And 
I just want to keep on creating, looking for new projects. Uh, my husband, Ron, drives me around and I, all of a sudden I'll say, stop the car. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll get out of the car and I'll boom, 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 click, 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 click. And then, then uh, he doesn't know what I want, what I saw yeah. until it's near the end of the painting. And then he says, oh, that's what you saw. <laughs> so it's because I love doing um, seascapes and landscapes. So uh, I don't think I could live away from the ocean. It's just, I just love the air and the, the diff and it looks different every day. It's a free show. <laughs> so do you have some shows coming up in 2024 here? I'm going to have another show at the Wamsutta Club in April. Okay. Um, and then whatever comes out, I get, I get notices from the different art societies I belong to and I exhibit in them. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure I'll be doing something else at the Art Loft. And, okay. And that'll be on your Facebook page? Yes. Yes. Donna Gagnon Art. Donna Gagnon Art. On Facebook, yeah. You can find that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, anything you would add to anyone that's uh, looking into becoming an artist or becoming uh, in the music business and, and to share their talent? Well, I think it's great if you can do what you love and don't, don't compromise too much. Um, Find out what you're good at and pursue that. And even if you're not that good, keep doing it anyway because it's a fun experience just to be creative. I mean, just keep creating and you get better at it as it goes along. And uh, try to find that spark that inspires you. Mm -hmm. get, get to know other people. You learn from them. Most of my artist friends are very generous and with their time and talents and, and suggestions and like, oh, this might do, do, do or put a bird over here. Or, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. it's just great collaborating with Good other artists. So, yeah, it's wonderful. Well, Donna, we can't thank you enough for the talent that you bring to our community. Aww. And we I know that our viewers have seen and will see some of the great, great masterpieces that you've created uh, throughout the show here. Well, thank you very much. It was wonderful talking to you. Great talking to you too, Donna. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.